having a drink with me this Saturday. Let's get started. I'm ready. Let the so weekend I, begin. Do you both think love is for everyone? Of course love is for everyone. But depending on what kind of love you're talking about. Is romance for everyone or love? You know, you put a love a baby, love a puppy, love your mom. Then there's lust. Don't there's forget lust. about lust. <laughs> So you uh, love your com your every, you know, your common man, love humanity, but it's different than romance or relationships. Is there a difference? There is definitely a difference in the type of love, right? There's different types of attachment you can have, like attachment to your kids, which I have two of, attachment to your husband, but I think human beings are driven to have a mate. It's it's a drive, it's like hunger, it's like thirst. So we want a companion and most people, I believe that love exists for everybody that wants it. So you've gotta be psychotically optimistic and go out there and find it. Cause if you want it, it will come to you. Right. It's like Do you believe in one life. soulmate for everyone? No. No, there are many lids for every pot, but you have to have, you have to be planful and mindful to our previous point about the qualities of the person that actually make you happy. So most of us can say, you know, I want her to look like this or be like this, but then the question is, you know, who actually makes you happy in your life? And if you sit back and you think about the people that elevate you, that really make you happy, those are the qualities that you should actually be looking for. So it's kind of date from the inside out. Obviously you want to be attracted to this person, Person, but are they nice? Are they kind? Are they, you know, a big cheerleader of yours? Are they supportive? It, and it's doing this from the right perspective. Who makes me happy? Because you want to get married, that's a long haul. I've been married for almost 19 <laughs> years. You want to you want to be with someone who makes yeah. you happy because the lust is going to change. The attraction is going to change. So you have to be with someone where you're really looking long term. Do we want the same things? And at the end of the day, are we friends? Do we like each other? Well, speaking of friends, let me ask you guys this. Do you think, you know, you have like a best guy friend that, oh, we've never slept together, but man, we can hang out together for so long. I don't get tired of him. Why don't we just bone and see what happens? I married that guy. You married that guy. So you did it. <laughs> So you, you did, did it. Okay. Well, I married that guy. I married yeah. the guy that was my best friend. After dating people that were good guys, let's just say they weren't right for me with regards to who makes me happy long term. And this is literally the exercise I went through. It's like, who are the people in my life that make me happiest? And he was on the list. The guy I hung out with all the time. The first person I called in the morning, the last person I called now in the evening, my best friend. Let yeah. me ask you this. Yeah. Did you force him into a friend zone? And then when you were ready, we were like, all right, get on over here. Was he trying to holler at you the whole time? No, I what? don't think so. It so was how, how, did that how did that even happen? Right. Were you like, hey, let's let's just do this? Right. Did I you mean, do that? There, it was. We had a few too many glasses of wine one there night. There we go. Let's get real now. Cheers. Amen. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cheers. To that. In the very beginning, how do you tell the difference between that oxytocin and love? Well, what you want to make sure is that you really like this person and he's good to you and he's kind and he's consistent and he's reliable and he feels like, you know, this is the person you want to hang out with. Yeah. Well, Those are really the important things to look for. You want to hear the most, the key word that I know that someone is done. They're off the market. This is going all the way. It's when they tell me, this is so easy easy like yeah. it's drama free we just get along we're in sync like it just works when i hear easy yeah I'm like you're done meaning if you want to get married this is where that's going every yeah. time i hear the word easy it goes to the altar how do people get to that like cialis commercial place where you see those middle-aged people and they're like <laughs> making a birdhouse and like get over here you know how do you <laughs> How do you keep the flames yeah, alive? Yeah, how do you go from this part? With the blue part, pill or without? Yeah, what, yeah, how do you get from there <laughs> in between that low? How do you get from like that hot four months to like 35 years later, we build a birdhouse and we catch feelings? You know, I think that one of the most important things that people do that stand the test of time is that they continue to be positive about each other. They're looking for what's good because our brains can have a negativity bias. So we get a little critical, like, oh God, he never takes the garbage out or she always leaves her socks hanging around. And when we start to focus on what's negative, that's what starts to expand. And then we start fighting about little things and those little fights lead to criticism and contempt and all sorts of bad things. So if you sit back. My ex left me. Yeah because I didn't take out the garbage. <laughs> was okay. it four months? No, this is like 11, 12 months in. And then it was like, well, you don't take out the garbage. They're like, I don't even live here. Right, <laughs> right. I don't have a key to your place. Right. 
how am I not taking out the garbage? How is that the problem? You know, it could be code. I don't know. You know, it could be I don't feel taken care of. That's it, what a lot of people say that. Yeah, and it could mean you don't prioritize what's important to me. <laughs> you see that? Cheers. Uh, Let's drink. <laughs> What advice, I guess, do you have for people balancing a career and a relationship? Take the relationship slow and steady. Okay. So that in the beginning, you're going on maybe one day a week with this person for a couple of weeks. You know, okay. call it two to three weeks. Then if you start to like them, then you're going on two dates a week. And then after a couple of weeks, you're going on three dates a week. So what you're doing is you're easing this person into your life yeah. versus something that's like a wham. Like Shit. all I of a sudden. I think I've done the wham. Right now, you've whammed it? You've whammed. <laughs> You've whammed. Mm. I have some fun, just like quick fire questions. Yeah, let's do it. That I want to make sure we get in. Yeah. So I just want your first words that come to mind when I say these words. Roses or chocolate? Roses. Okay. Don't need the calories. <laughs> chocolate. Chocolate, okay. Sexting. Mm. Not right away. <laughs> I have found. <laughs> You're like, me. if I wait until the fifth, fifth date. Yeah. <laughs> I found a very, very classy way to get out sexting that is very vague, but you get the point. Yeah. So if you don't go like smash face, like, yeah, let me see. But if you just do it like you're a Shakespeare person. You found success? Yeah, like. How do I love thee? Yeah, like, like let, yeah, the do it with your fancy words, but make it a little erotic. It, Thou it works. art more beautiful okay, than so, a okay. day. It works. Biggest turnoffs? Smells. Smells, Ooh, okay. Um, mean people. Mean people, yeah. Mean people who smell. <laughs> what will we find each of you doing Valentine's Day? <laughs> Alone. <laughs> when is it? Sunday. 